A powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake has hit Nepal near the capital city of Kathmandu. It is a gruesome scene we've now seen at least half a dozen times. Years later, this country is engulfed in civil war. Migrants are sweeping into Europe. And people just can't take it. How much worse can it get? In places like this, there are girls as young as 10 years old. The first thing that hits you is the sheer scale of the crisis. Lord Jesus, we live in a broken world. Oppression, injustice, poverty. Oh God, in the face of this misery, I am restless for change and anxious for healing. Yet I feel powerless, overwhelmed. What can I do? How can I make a difference? Lord, show me. And he did. He showed me a girl. She was in a world much different than mine, far away from me. It was crowded and dirty, and one that I did not recognise. She was vulnerable, hopeless, ignored, forgotten. So she walked this journey without a hand to hold, and alone, it was never enough. Surrounded by the walls of poverty, the world passed her by. She wondered, does anyone hear me? God showed me her heart, and I saw what she prayed for. to be loved, to know opportunity, to pursue knowledge, to find acceptance, to experience joy, and it was beautiful, it was the life that she deserved, it was no longer a picture of poverty I saw but a portrait of hope. But her prayer came to an end and I saw that nothing had changed. As I prayed, I heard his voice quietly say to me, the door to her future is open, but you must take her hand and lead. The path will not be easy, the surroundings are dark, but I want my light to shine through you so that she can see my face and know that I love her and I'm calling on you to answer her prayer.